In this recording, we look at use of the discriminant function in determining the number of points of intersection of two quadratic functions. Consider a quadratic function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then the discriminant function delta equals b squared minus 4ac. And if the discriminant is greater than zero, a quadratic equation has two real distinct roots. If delta equals zero, it has one real repeated root. If delta is less than zero, a quadratic has no real roots. And that comes from the quadratic formula, where if you're solving ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, then x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So you can see that the discriminant is the part that appears under the square root sign, showing why it is that, for instance, if delta is less than zero, you get square root of a negative number, which is why you then get no real roots, for instance. But we can apply this information about the discriminant function to determine the number of points of intersection of the graphs of two quadratic functions. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So in our first example, in how many points do y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 9 and y equals 2x squared plus 4 intersect? What we can do is if they intersect, then we can actually set the left-hand side of these equations, that's in terms of x, equal to each other, as any points of intersection must have the same x and y values for both functions. That is, we can set 3x squared plus 2x minus 9 equal to 2x squared plus 4. And the trick here is to then rearrange this so that we have 0 on the right-hand side and all other terms on the left. So that means in this example, we would subtract 2x squared plus 4 from both sides, meaning we would subtract 2x squared and then also subtract 4. Simplifying that a little gives the quadratic x squared plus 2x minus 13 equals 0. And note that here I'm not interested in finding the actual values of the points of intersection. I simply want to know in how many points these graphs intersect, if any. So now, in this case, this is of our form ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this particular case, x squared is just 1x squared. So a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals negative 13. So the discriminant delta equals b squared minus 4ac. So that's going to be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 13, which works out to be equal to 56. So here delta is greater than 0, therefore it tells us that the graphs represented by these functions will intersect in two points, as this quadratic equation will have two real distinct solutions. Let's have a look at a second example now that's just a little bit different. Suppose we're told that the graphs of the curves y equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 and y equals x squared minus 3x plus k meet in a single point. What is the value of k? So how would we approach this problem? Well again, it would be good to say if they intersect, then they must have some common point first the same x values and y values. So again we could set the y values equal to each other, which also means that we would have 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to x squared minus 3x plus k. And again we would rearrange this to get all the terms on the left hand side and 0 on the right hand side which would give us 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus x squared plus 3x minus k equals 0 in this case. Simplifying it down a bit more, collecting like terms, we end up with x squared plus 8x plus 6 minus k equals 0. So again, 
this is actually of the same form as the previous one. That is, again, this equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So looking at what we have here, we've actually got 1x squared, as I've drawn the 1 here. So if this is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is 0, then a is 1 in this case. b is 8, and you'll notice I've circled the 6 minus k here. This is because there's no x contained in either of these terms, and we're thinking of our expression as a function of x. Therefore, c is equal to 6 minus k, meaning if we now work out the discriminant delta, which is b squared minus 4ac, in this case, delta is going to be 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 minus k. Furthermore, we're saying we want a case where these graphs meet at a single point, which would be the case when our quadratic has one solution only. And that occurs when delta is equal to zero. So therefore, we want to find the value of k such that 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 minus k equals zero in order to find the value of k such that the graphs meet at a single point. This becomes 64 minus, if we expand and simplify, that becomes 24 plus 4k equal to 0, which gives us 40, in this case, plus 4k equal to 0. And therefore, you can solve that, rearrange it, to find that, in fact, k is equal to negative 10. So this is another application of a discriminant function. If we know we want conditions such that the curves meet at a single point, we can use the discriminant function to find the required value of k. In this case, k equals negative 10.